Hi everybody, good to see you back. Today we're going to take a look at the SLR Magic 25mm Cine Lens. This is another lens in the set which has a couple others. I think it's a 20 or an 18, a 35, a 50, and a 75. Kind of wish I'd fill out a couple more focal lengths, but overall it's a pretty good set. Now the micro primes are really designed for mirrorless cameras. They're designed for a short flange back distance. So you will find them in X mount, you will find them in E mount, and uh, I think one other, but you're not going to find them in EF or PL, which is almost kind of a shame because I really would like to use these on my C300, but can't. So let's get right into this lens and have a look at basically some pretty images and I'm going to give you some thoughts as we go through them. So the first thing I did was really just shoot this lens wide open because I figured that would produce the most interesting images and hey this is just like this amazing vintage lens look and I know some of you are probably totally freaked out at seeing this because you're like it's mushy, it's blurry, it's chromatic aberration, it's this, it's that. Well stop the lens down a little bit and look it cleans up, it's just absolutely fine. So another shot wide open and there's a lot of flare and stuff going on, but still the depth of field and separation here is really quite nice. I really like this look. And we're going to get to another shot. I'm Again, stop the lens down and we've got a lot of depth of field here. Now I'm working between usually a six stop ND filter. It's a breakthrough photography filter. And with that filter on, I could shoot this lens somewhere, depending on where I wanted to play the ISO, between uh, between 640 and, I don't know, sometimes 1250 or 1600. It just depended on the shot and where I wanted to wind up on the aperture with this lens. Again, stop it down to 28 or 4 or 5.6, and, you know, it's a perfectly well-behaved lens. So I think that the reason that someone's really going to get interested in these lenses is the more vintage characteristics that they have wide open. They're also, of course, a cine set, very consistent in size. They all use the same 82 millimeter filter front. The gear positioning is basically about the same. The weight of these lenses is similar. So they're very gimbal friendly. They're friendly to using a follow focus, a matte box, and they're relatively compact, although a little bit heavy. Given that these lenses are actually made of all metal, the weight isn't unexpected and they feel quite hefty and solid in the hand. They seem to be well built. Well, talk to me in a year or two after I've been knocking them around for a while. Being native X mount, these fit beautifully on the camera so they're a real pleasure to use that way in that you don't have an adapter adding an inch, inch and a half between the camera lens and the body. So there you go, that was my look at the SLR Magic 25mm Cine Lens and X mount on the Fuji X-T3. I got through that. Leave your comments and thoughts down below, looking forward to hearing from you guys.